This is a new drop from Costco. It's a bundle of two Pokemon tins and then a Scarlet and Violet ETB. I'll pick this up for 49 bucks. I think the real gamble is what's in the tin. So let's see what those are. It's kind of nice. I've actually never opened up a Scarlet and Violet ETB from the base set. So this is kind of cool. I'm really curious what's inside these Pokeballs. All right, the suspense. I'm gonna open this one first because blue's my favorite color. So let's see what the packs are carefully. Here we go. Okay, so we do have a coin in here as well. That looks like a Suicune. So we'll set him over here. And then we've got Rebel... No way. What? Cosmic Eclipse? Dude, I, I need to go back. What's in this ball? Rebel Clash. Cosmic Eclipse? Are you serious right now? Dude, I might go back and get another. Okay, this is crazy. I'm like speechless right now. I, what? <laughs> That's so freaking awesome. Well, I'm gonna save those for the end, of course. I'm just gonna open up the ETB too so we can bust through. Oh, and don't forget the awesome promo that I now have. Wow, dang, I'm, that caught me off guard, like really? I'm gonna set up the hot zone. This is where we put all the hot cards. We're gonna throw the promo card in there right now. So obviously I got the ETB. So we've got nine Scarlet and Violet, two Rebel Clash, two Vivid Voltage, and two Cosmic Eclipse for the end. Let's go ahead and open up the Rebel Clash first. Oh my gosh, what? That is crazy. I. I'm so nervous now. Like, I'm having a hard time focusing, honestly. Um, those packs are so expensive. And uh, I've, I've never bought one. I can't believe that. So it was 49 for the ETB and then all the packs. So you get three packs per 10. So basically, what? 16 packs for the whole thing for 50 bucks and two of them at least ooh double v i don't have that two of them for me were cosmic eclipse I'll add you in the hot zone because i don't have you have you guys experienced this too like drop a comment below let me know if you've also bought this set and pulled cosmic eclipse this is truly nuts i i really think i'm gonna go back and pick up some more if there are. I I don't know how to verify which tins have what, um, but obviously you guys saw it here. I blindly opened the Costco tins and got two of the packs, so maybe there's more. This is really exciting, and don't laugh at me. I mean, I'm <laughs> if you're new here, just remember, I am also new to collecting Pokemon. I started just a couple months ago, two cannons so um we uh this is really cool i really never get anything from vivid voltage that's been a, a tough set for me so but i do like the scarlet and violet base set i do like paldea evolved a little better i think that they have some better pulls um but this has been great so let's just let's just keep going i'll i'm calming down now i'm calming down doesn't mean that there's a big hit in those two cards but or two packs, but it's cool to be up to bat um, and just see what we get. And I definitely don't mind filling out my Scarlet and Violet base set. I did start collecting some of this. As, I believe uh, in one of my first videos, I ended up opening up a booster bundle um, and uh, got some pretty good hits too. So this is, this is fun. You know, Scarta, I love that foil. I will admit that this is a nice break from the dreary 151 that everybody keeps complaining about. The, the hits are very interesting. Um, I think people were expecting just crazy amount of hits like we saw in Crown Zenith or even Obsidian Flames. 
Um, and we just didn't get that with, oh, wow, that's a really cool EX. Iron Treads, I do not have that. Oh, a double hit, Karaidon EX. I don't believe I have that either. So these guys will definitely go in the hot zone. Let me get a sleeve here and another one here. All right, well, let's keep going. Man, this has been a good day, not only with the uh, Cosmic Eclipse packs, but we're getting some pulls, pulls that I don't have, which is always helpful too. Um, it's definitely, uh, this is exciting. So it's it's been nice, because if you watch my last few videos, uh, I kind of had some, I don't want to say duds, but just some sets and things that I bought. Um, uh, that really didn't have uh, great cards in it. So I was a little disappointed. So by the way, fun fact, my littlest son now absolutely loves Magnemite. I keep pulling him and I got all those promos in that last uh, or one of those recent videos. So I'm kind of holding on to all the Magnemite cards for him. So he's got one of those tiny little binders. He doesn't really like Pokemon, but for some reason he just, uh, I don't know if it's probably just association because Older son and I are ripping cards, but now he's starting to get into it. And if Magnemite's the gateway, then so be it. I'm excited about that. So it's cool to get him involved too. And, uh, oh, very cool. Oh, wow. That's a great card. The Gyarados EX. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I love the textures on that. That is definitely going in the hot zone. I don't have this. This is epic. Wow. All right, let's just keep going. Man, what a what a good day. I needed a needed a little bit of luck to keep to keep me going. So that is really cool. I'm getting some great cards today. So hope you guys uh, are liking this video. If you do, do me a favor, just hit the like button. Um, feel free to subscribe um, and uh, Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate you. I've gotten a lot of fun comments from people that are getting back into cards, and obviously I am too. And, you know, it's really exciting to kind of see a revival of my age group. I'm almost 40. Um, so I grew up as a teenager with uh, Pokemon. Really cool time. I loved all the Game Boy games and stuff like that. And it's just so neat to have it come back. Pommy, Smoliv. All right, two packs left from Scarlet and Violet, the base set. This is uh, a set that I really should do more with and collect. The pricing is coming down quite a bit, which is kind of fun. So um, might be something that I try to go for. Paldea Evolved, I've obviously tried to go for too, and that's a tough one. Um, Toad School, Toad Scruel, and Klefki. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, uh, I think that these sets are highly underrated. I mean, like, there are some great cards in here. I know that they might not be as desirable as pulling, you know, four or five Charizards out of a set, but, I mean, they're so freaking fun. So, um, and that's okay. You guys just ignore it. Drive the price down. I'm all about it. You know, just having fun with the family and collecting them all. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens. So, clout. All right, so the big moment cosmic eclipse um i'm really nervous i have never opened these i've never even seen them uh let alone opened them so boy that pack ripped open funny but uh anyway let's just uh go there's the code card and see what we can get um i'm not gonna rush through these i'm gonna savor the moment because this might not happen again for a while um we'll see if i can get more that would be sick Wow, that is a cool foil, that Trevenant. Um, whoa, look at that Lunala. These are really cool cards. I think that was our rare for the set. So we've got that awesome Lunala. Check out that art. Jeez, that's cool. All right, one more pack. The last Cosmic Eclipse. And then I'm going to let you guys go and run to Costco and pray that they have another one of those sets. I'm nervous about making that commitment because if they don't, I mean, I, there's no guarantee that these sets carry um, Cosmic Eclipse, but for that price and that chance, I mean, oh, whoa, that is 
epic. Look at that. I know that this isn't like one of the big pulls from Cosmic Eclipse, but that is really freaking cool. And we're definitely going to put that in the hot zone. So, um, oh, that's cool too. I haven't actually seen a, a trainer um, a tag team before. So that is super cool. Well, I'm glad we got something out of here, even if it's not like the, the big... The big money ones, uh, this is super neat, especially because I just told you guys, my son loves Magnezone. Um, he might love Magnemite. I mean, who wouldn't? So definitely, this is one of those, I'm probably going to go back and, and gamble and see if I can get more Cosmic Eclipse because that would be so crazy. Okay, I'm back. I got two more. Let's go ahead and open up these tins and see if these have more of the Cosmic Eclipse. I'm not even going to bother with the ETBs right now. Probably just keep uh, one of those for the kids. Maybe I'll open one later. Who knows? I'm just really curious about these tins. I can't believe that those two that I got had Cosmic Eclipse. There's no way on the package to see if like these balls have the same like model number. All right, so here is one of the balls that I opened. Um, I'm gonna put this down here. This is D21. Now there's no visible representation on the Costco boxes to tell you which one it is. So I just noticed these might not be the same. I have C23 and then D23 and then another D23 and then another C23. So really weird. I have a feeling, I got to find my little knife here. I have a feeling that these are not going to have Cosmic Eclipse because they are not that D21. Um, now, just so you guys know, I got these at the same Costco on the same, uh, on the same pallet. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm like really excited and nervous, but I, I have a very, very strong feeling that I got lucky the first time and it's not going to be like that this next time. Boy, I cannot open this dang thing. There we go. All right, so I went ahead and just ripped them all open. So I have four Pokeballs. And just so you guys know, um, this is not a, a lost cause for me because um, I don't have that ETB anyway. So it's actually not the worst. Um, but uh, let's see, first one. Ooh, I think this is different right away. Lost Origin, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest. So uh, just to confirm, C23, uh, as of right now, does not have Cosmic Eclipse. Let me check. Okay, here is another C23. Um, let me open this just to confirm. Okay, so Lost Origin, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest. Okay, so we can check that off. Um, you guys are helping me do some valuable research. Okay, so now we have D23, and two of the balls have this. Ooh, this also does not look the same. Um, Lost Origin, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest. Uh, man, it looks like I just got lucky with that one. Uh, Lost Origin, Lost Origin, Silver Tempest. Okay, so I'll note it in the description so uh, everybody's aware um, of which balls do have the Cosmic Eclipse. Now, while that is a bummer, I do love opening these sets. So I'm going to go ahead and just rip them open since we're here. Um, you know, I'll, I'll open up the ETB uh, as well, just those packs, and we can kind of see what else we can get today. But it is too bad I didn't get more Cosmic Eclipse, but um, man, that was a total gamble. Um, I didn't realize that they would have all these different model numbers um, for the Pokeballs like in the same palette. Oh, Chandelure, that's a really cool card. I'm going to put him in the hot zone. Um, and, you know, that's, that's kind of weird that they would just take some of those. I mean, man, some people are really hitting the lotto um, with, uh, with the Cosmic Eclipse. That literally took my breath away. I mean, you guys saw it there. So sorry to disappoint and not being able to open more of those packs. This was a costly experiment for your value, but <laughs> it would have been really cool if I could have pulled more of those. There's a Berserker. Can't remember if I have this guy or not. So, um, 
But uh, yeah, that uh, I don't know. That would have been really cool. Lost Origin is one of those uh, sets that I I pulled just like only random packs, kind of like in these kind of things, like tins and and different collectors box. I need to get a booster box. Um, I really think that Lost Origin is kind of a sleeper set with some of the chase cards that they have. Um, I'll have to do that and then make a video so that you guys can see that because I, I really like the set. There's just some great cards in there um, and I don't have most of them so it would be really fun to do and man, I admit I'm bummed I didn't find more Cosmic Eclipse. That was crazy. Totally worth it though. Um, now the challenge is is you know, do you guys think it's worth it? The cost of the tins being, or the Costco pack being about 50 bucks for an ETB and two of these. Um, I mean, for the gamble of getting Cosmic Eclipse, it's, I don't know. I mean, I went back and did it, so I put my money where my mouth is. Um, but uh, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd do it again. <laughs> There's a limit to my experimenting for the sake of making a video, but... Um, I'm excited to rip into those packs in the ETB as well. So, Paris and Magnazone V-Star. I don't remember if I have this or not, but that is freaking cool. Um, my uh, youngest son, who's just starting to get into Pokemon, um, really loves Magnazone for some reason. I don't know why, but he is really, really cool. So, two more packs of Lost Origin, then we'll rip into some Silver Tempest. Boy! This is a fun video today. It's a little bit different. Here I am going to the store, running around, and uh, maybe I need to do more of that. So, um, just getting out of the getting out of the office, taking a break um, from my normal day, so that I can open up some cards. And uh, let's go. Last pack, Lost Origin. So, last pack, Magic. Will I get some? We'll see. Um, I don't know. I have pulled. One of the Giratinas, um, it was the white V-Star, I believe. Not like any of their super cool ones, but that's okay. Um, we'll get you. We'll get you eventually. All right, Silver Tempest. This is a great set. Um, actually, out of a different Costco. I don't know if I said this again. I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. But out of a different Costco bundle, I did pull the Lugia um, alternate art, which was just absolutely crazy. So I'm still like, I don't want to say PTSD, but I'm still in shock by that. That was by far the coolest card in my like two, two months. Man, has it only been two months? Feels like I've been doing this for years, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's only been a couple months. Um, ho, ho, I've made that joke before. I know I pulled this guy. Because I've made that joke, so um, let's go ahead and uh, throw you in. There you go, buddy. Welcome to the fam. Two more packs of Silver Tempest, and then I'll just stack up the cards from one of the ETBs. The other one, I'm going to just give my son, because he doesn't have that ETB, and I'm a nice dad. You know, it's hard. Oops. Um, uh, pulling all these cards, i got to give him some to pull, too. So, of course. <laughs> He does, uh, he's going to start going through all these cards and sorting them for me, too. I need some help, buddy. If you're watching, come tap me. I got some work for you. So, all right, last pack, Silver Tempest. Um, I'm flying through here. I don't know why. I just, I didn't have a good feeling on some of these packs. But Arcanine, yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, well, we'll just go through here. Hopefully, we get some... Good pulls out of uh, Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, I I love this set. Um, and for some reason, I've noticed that the booster boxes are going way down in price. I've seen some for $90 and below, which just blows my mind. I don't know what the reason is for the crash on booster boxes lately. I've been seeing some um, Obsidian Flames go down. Ha ha ha, down in flames. Um, and uh, Paldea Evolve, that might be one that I pick up pretty soon here too because um, I really don't have a lot of great cards from that set. Ooh, Maridon EX. I don't think I have him. Um, 
so this is a good one. I have, I believe, the alternate art. Um, yeah, I do have that. But, oops, hot zone. There we go. Um, yeah, Paldea Evolved. I'm missing a ton of great cards in there. And that's that's kind of a sleeper set, too. I think that that has a lot of great cards. I don't think the Scarlet and Violet base set is near as exciting to a lot of people. Um, maybe that's why the price has been going down. I'm not really sure. But it is really weird how cheap they're getting right now. I can't imagine that card shops are making a lot of profit. But I don't know. I don't know, it works out for me because if you are a new collector like me, going online and buying booster boxes of this new generation is freaking awesome because I can afford it um, and they're seriously like sometimes $30, $40 cheaper than MSRP right now um, and it really helps me uh, build out that set and that collection. So be on the lookout for great deals for booster boxes. Um, they're everywhere. They're everywhere online. So even TikTok. Um, I, yeah, I, I mean it. TikTok does have some great card stores on there um, that you can go into their stores and buy. Ooh, look at that. Arcanine EX. I can't remember if I have that guy. I don't think so. And that's really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, no, there's tons of places to get cards right now. All right. A couple more packs to go. I'd really like, like an alternate art right now. That would kind of lift up my spirits a little bit from not getting that cosmic eclipse again. I mean, we did get a good win, um, you know, since I last filmed that. Whoa, there we go. That is what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, okay. This just, whoo, that made my day. That made my day. Thank you. I obviously did not have this card because of how freaking excited I am about it. Um, and that is awesome. Hello. Um, I don't even know the cost on that. It's just, it's a card I don't have. It's trying to fill out the set. Um, I'm having a great time with all of the Scarlet and Violet sets. Um, and uh, really hope, really hope I can fill that out. Boy, that was good. That is exciting. So um, let's go. All right. We uh, got a little bit of reinvigorated from uh, that drawdown on uh, missing Cosmic Eclipse. But one day, one day, maybe I'll be a bigger PokeTuber and I can afford bigger things like Cosmic Eclipse and all these crazy, you know, first generation like booster boxes and things people pull. It's just, it's nuts. It's like, how big can you go? Um, Ooh, there we go. That's a great card. Um, very cool. Let's uh, get you going into the hot zone. I love that art. And here we go. Last pack. Last pack magic. What are we going to have? I mean, honestly, it's been, it's been a great run from finding Cosmic Eclipse to... Uh, figuring out what the model numbers are. Again, I'm going to put those in the description of the video in case you don't remember which tins to look for when you're in stores because I have a feeling that's probably uh, any tin when you're in stores. Meow Scarta is our last one. Boom. There we go. So let's take a look at what I pulled from the second haul of these tins. Now, I'm going to keep the other ETB for my kid. Um, but all in all, not too bad. The Pokeballs, I've confirmed two for two. I went back and looked at both of them. So D21, when you're out at stores, should have a Cosmic Eclipse. Hope this is helpful. If it is, please give me a like. Please subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.